Hey, what's up everybody? Justin here with a real quick video. I'm gonna do some stenciling on this guitar project that I'm working on. And uh, I thought I'd make a video on stenciling and how to stencil spray, how to do spray paint, spray paint stenciling. Um, I'm sure there's thousands of videos of this on YouTube, but I figured I'd just make me a real quick one. Uh, one of the things I'm gonna be using is uh, Krylon Easy Tack uh, Adhesive. It's a low tack repositional adhesive for the stencil. Uh, the spray paint for the stencil, and in this case, I'm using uh, Montana 94 uh, artist paints. These are uh, this is matte black, and so since this guitar is flat, and I wanted something as flat as possible, and this is what I have available in the artist paint. And um, that's really about it. If your uh, stencil happens to run over the edges uh, of whatever your project is, you might want to tape off those edges so that they don't get uh, spray paint on them. And uh, oh, of course, you're gonna need your stencil. And in this case, I'm using, a, I'm going to be doing a, uh, the seal of baphomet on this guitar. <clears throat> and as you see, I labeled it front so I knew which side got the spray paint and which side gets the adhesive. So uh, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, first what we're gonna do is we're going to take the stencil, and we're going to take our uh, Easy Tac Krylon Easy Tac paint or paint adhesive, and uh, we're going to spray the back side of the stencil lightly so it sticks down to the surface but doesn't become glued to the surface of what we're working on. Is lightly spray it. You don't want to super coat it. You don't want it sticking glued down to your surface. You just want it to be able to stick to it so that all cut areas stick nice and evenly to the surface. Once you have your stencil in the location where you want it, you just want to lightly tack it down. You will also want some newspaper and some uh, masking tape. Uh, in this case, I'm using a masking uh, paper masker from work. Um, Make sure your paint is well shaken.
Do a little test spray first to make sure it sprays all right. Doesn't, sp doesn't spit everywhere. See, it's kind of spitting a little bit. All right. And then you just lightly coat your stencil. Don't want to. You don't want to flood the paint on there. You just want to put a nice light coat on it. Let it sit, and then put a second coat on it. We'll let that dry and come back to it. All right, so I've got two coats on this, and I'm too impatient to wait, so I'm gonna start unmasking this right now and uh, see how it turns out. As you can see from this tape, I don't know if you can see it or not, but on that tape, there was some overspray that got onto the, uh, well, that would have gotten onto the guitar body had I not masked it off. And so, the final product. And there you go. There's how you stencil.